First of all, I would like to thank the friend who asked this question. It helped me do this research because of her question. I always wanted to have this content organized but never had a time. And in such a short notice, because of her question, I'm so grateful to her that there were team of people who had helped me. Remember, whenever something is done, it, it's never one person. So I had friends helping me out from Pakistan, Canada, and USA. To gather the content, the research I will share with you today. So let us start with some zikr. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil wa ni'mal mawla wa ni'mal nasir. Hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil wa ni'mal mawla wa ni'mal nasir. Hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil wa ni'mal mawla wa ni'mal nasir. Hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil wa ni'mal mawla wa ni'mal nasir. Ya Mawla, Ya Mawla, I seek your help Mawla, I seek your mercy to be able to speak to friends and deliver whatever is needed in their heart Mawla. Ya Mawla, Madad Farma, Mushkil Kusha, Madad Farma. So the question which was asked last week, is Quran a book for smileys? And the understanding was that this book is storybook, book of history. Why do we need to read Quran if we have Ginans already? So in first part of my lecture, I will relate, I'll refer to some Farameens of Maulana Hazi Imam and Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah. So let us review the first Farman. Mola had given this farman at Tajikistan on May 27th, 1995. Allahumma salli ala wa ali Muhammad. My beloved spiritual children, I am very happy to see how well you are learning Ginans and Quran. I would like you in your studies not only to look at what is written and what is compulsory upon Muslims, but I would also like you to take from its traditions, your own history, that which can help you in guiding your everyday lives so as to live within the spirit of Islam. Quran says, this means that God says to you, He is addressing men and women. And He says He has made you out of one soul. This means that you are at all times brothers and sisters. That He has created you from one soul. And it is only if you live within this spirit, within this understanding, that you can really act as a Jamaat and act as brothers and sisters, which indeed you are. So in this Farman, Imam is happy seeing what? Learning both Ginans and Quran. So the question would be, do we want to make Imam happy? The next Farman I refer to was delivered at Karimabad on 22nd November 1967. I came in and I heard several surahs of the Quran being recited. And I remind you of the Farman which I made to you in the past. I would like each and every spiritual child not only to know the dua by heart but to understand the meaning of dua. Here Mola says, I heard several surah. 
not only saying that he heard jamaat reciting dua part he said several surah meaning that quran was being recited some of the chapters were recited and imam was pleased but then he's referring to quranic verses in dua that learn the meaning of dua to not the translation but the meaning of dua here we can draw that conclusion that imam wants us to learn the quranic surahs with its meaning here i would say there are signs mola gives mola indicates gives ishara isharas are for those who are wise then another farman delivered at hyderabad pakistan march 22 1989 the quran speaks about accounting there is an accounting and you cannot put the clock back the time that you wasted is time which is impossible to make up so here we would say that if we are not utilizing our time to learn quran accounting will be taken Imam is giving us this farman with reference to Quran. I would take it as a wake up call. Another farman Mola gave at Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, August 17th, 2007. The Quran refers very often to nature as a reflection of Allah's power of creation. and it says look at the mountains look at the rivers look at the trees look at the flowers as evidence of allah's love for the people whom he has created today i look at this environment and i say to you i believe allah is smiling upon you and may his smile always be upon you shukran allah alhamdulillah ameen In this farman Imam is asking us to read Quran and reflect on its messages and he's giving us the example of nature Again I would say that Imam is giving ishara a sign an indication and isharas the signs are only for those who are wise Now let's review some of the Sultan Muhammad Shah's farman. Mola had made this farman at Zanzibar, June fifth, eighteen ninety-nine. The ginans which Pir Sadardin had composed for you, that is the essence of the Quran given in the Indian language. The ginans. which pir sadardin had composed for you that is the essence of the quran given in the indian language this is the farman the basis that if we have the gina which are the essence of quran why do we need to do read anything else so we will talk about this i had to mention this gina so we understand the basis of our understanding why that question came up Another farman, again at Zanzibar, July thirteenth, eighteen ninety-nine. Mola says there is a need for such faithful people among you, who has the knowledge of Quran, as well as has the knowledge of the Ginans, so that I would take each verse of Ginan. related from the quran so it can be shared with the jamaat now the question here would be imam is saying there is need for such faithful people imandar log were there no such faithful people that imam could teach imam is indicating that the jamaat does not know 
knowledge of Quran. What year was that? 1899. Now I would like us to relate to Pir Nasir Khusro, who wrote his books in cave more than thousand years ago. Imam was not there with him. He had a very limited time mulakat with Imam. Very limited. He spent his most time with Dai Fiddin Shirazi. He had his didar with Imam and Imam at that time only made him the peer of Khorasan. He wrote books in the cave. Imam was not there. Then let's take example of P. Sadardi, who lived with Jamaat in Indo Park, away from Imam, who wrote this beautiful Ginaz. And Imam says that those were written from the essence of Quran. They were derived from the essence of the Quran. So what we are saying here that anyone who wants to learn from Imam, because Imam said. There is need for such faithful people among you who has the knowledge of Quran as well as has the knowledge of Ginans so that I would take each verse of Ginan related from the Quran so it can be shared with the Jamaat. I hope we are paying attention. So Mola is inviting Mola is inviting to learn Quran so he can visit us in our bathin to teach us Quran. And we have example of Pir Nasir Khusro Pir Sadadi. Now in same Farman Mala says, if 10 to 12 years before, those who had read Quran in Majid were sent to me, we could teach all about our deen and laws from the Quran. If it would have had happened, how beneficial it would be. And Deen had benefited too. Alhamdulillah, there are moments among you, but without certainty, they waste their time. There are moments among you, but without certainty. They waste their time. For them, if proof was given from the Quran, they would not have gone astray. Now, this farma needs carefully, careful reading. Harsh farma, again in 1899. And he's saying, if 10 to 12 years before this time, if there were some people, Imam would teach them Quran. Imam desires to teach Jamaat Quran, but there is no basis in Jamaat so Imam could teach them. And Mullah says, look at the words, Mullah says, there are moments among you, but without certainty. So they are followers, they are moments. Remember, Mullah is using moment here as a general term. Mullah is calling them moments, but he's saying they don't have any yakin. They don't have any certainty, meaning they have doubts in their hearts. And proof from the Quran would have helped them. But Imam says that I don't find anybody. And he's wishing 10 to 12 years before, if there were people like that who had Quran's knowledge, he would have taught them. Someone may say here, oh, I don't have any doubts. That's why I don't need to learn. I'm, I'm good the way I am. Look at Imam's word when he says moments, meaning what? They are followers. Followers of blind faith. Those who follow physical deen. And those who follow physical deen, Imam has referred them as monkeys. Innocent heart, Mullah is calling them momin, but they have doubts. Doubts come from darkness. Knowledge is light. So yes, they do sing Ginan. They do know Ginans. But Imam himself is drawing our attention that they have 
no certainty in their heart they waste time they are coming to jamaat khana wala papa mola is saying they waste time in 1899 so today for us the question would be if we don't have doubts okay we don't need to learn how about tomorrow our children asks us how are we going to respond to them every individual is in, in different situation look around you see around you and find out do you need to learn or not imam again in zanzibar on 14th september 1899 mola says those who aspire to learn the quran they must learn from one who knows real meaning of the quran if you desire to learn quran e majid become the student of those who know its true meaning here imam is saying that there are people in jamaat who know the meaning of the quran you do not need to go out of your jamaat to learn quran generally it is very commonly seen in jamaat that if anyone wants to learn quran they would go to sunni maulvi imam is saying no don't do that if you want to learn about your tariqa you need to find teachers within your tariqa then mola says it is advisable to read the quran with wisdom and intelligence one who reads without wisdom and intelligence he is like a donkey it will be beneficial if it is read with wisdom there is one verse in the quran to god we belong and to him we refer back to if you read it with wisdom then only you will understand it so mola is saying that not just read for the sake of reading i do hear this comment that oh we read translations or we play quran all the time imam is not saying to learn it that way imam says it is advisable to read the quran with wisdom and intelligence otherwise he is calling us donkey so when we are studying quran it has to be read with wisdom and intelligence that's imam's farman imam's instructions any words we read we need to look for tawil not just the little words so these were few farmans i referred to so we can have the basis why we are talking about this topic now let's discuss review some more references to focus on why in more detail maulana hazri imam's farman dar es salam tanzania 17th august 2007 maulana says understand how intellect and faith come together in our tradition that intellect is there better to understand our faith intellect is there better to understand our faith so intellect is a way to understand our faith without intellect we can't understand our faith so for wise there is a need of an indication ishara another farman hyderabad india september 23rd 2006 intellect is an integral part of your faith of the way we interpret the faith of islam and the way hazrat ali taught us to interpret the faith of islam mola ali taught us to read quran reflect understand the tawil of it how him being being the imam e asas the foundation imam who had done the done the tawil of quran the quran which was revealed to prophet muhammad 
and Mawla Ali being the Assas Imam, being the Wasi of Prophet Muhammad, he did the Taweel of Quran. Maulana Hazri Imam in this Farman is emphasizing to us to learn the faith in the light of his teachings. And his teachings are purely from Quranic Tawilat. There is a Quranic verse, chapter 12, verse 105. It says, And how many signs in the heavens and the earth do they pass by? Yet they turn away from them. How many signs? Another verse. Chapter 41, verse 53. It says, There are signs in your inner world, microcosm, and the outer world, outer universe, macrocosm. How long we are going to pass by those indications? There are signs, clear signs, for the wise to pick, to learn. When we were in Indo Pak and our peers came us came to us teaching us the Tawil of the Quran through the Ginan to convert us, to enter us into the smiley Satpanti Tarika. At that time we were like children who were entering kindergarten. We were like children who were entering into kindergarten. Now, let us review some of the Ginan part. Even at that time, Peers have taught us. Peer being our my bab, what did they say? So I pick here one of the words from Momin Chetami by Sayyid Imam Shah. He says, Eji nur thi nuraj pragatya, tenu vaas che nuraj mahe, tene asat pant paida ki da, khoji kajyo kuran mahe. Tene a satpant peda kida khoji kadio kuran mahe. Light manifested from light. Its abode is in the light. He created this true path, satpant, and searched it out from the holy Quran. So he's teaching us at that time, Sayyid Imam Shah. That this path was being searched, came out from Quran. He found it in Quran. Now, another verse by Peer Hassan Kabiridin from the Ginan Allah Ek Hasam Sabuka. Eji Nabi Muhammad Bujo Bhai. Nabi Muhammad Bujo Bhai. To Tame Pamo Imam. Eji Nabi Muhammad Bujo Bhai to Tame Pamo Imam Mushrik Manto Kafir Kahiye Momin Dil Quran. Brothers, no Prophet Muhammad, no Prophet Muhammad, then you will attain the Imam. So Peer is saying to recognize the Prophet Muhammad. Prepare our heart with the knowledge of Quran to invite the Imam in our heart. So very interestingly, we have been saying that we want to clean our heart because that's the place Imam wants to live. Our peers have taught us to invite Imam when you have the knowledge of Quran in your heart. This is one of the condition and what we've been discussing in Pakisgi of Amal, purity of our deeds, we have been learning from Quranic verses how to purify our heart. So in other words, it is the knowledge of Quran which is needed to purify our heart. When it is purified with the knowledge of Quran, at that time that heart is ready for the invitation for the Imam to come and sit in his heart. Another verse 
of Ginan by P. Sadardin. Eji P. Sadardin yara padere Quran Bahavar Mafi. Eji P. Sadardin yara padere Quran Bahar lave andar lana. Bahar jave andar lana. Shahane sujano apra pirne pichano. Isaya. O oh brother, P. Sadardin is giving you the teachings of the Holy Quran. Bring back those. Bring back those who have turned away from your religion. Recognize the Imam and know the Peer. This is very interesting words, very crucial words, I would say. P. says, he is giving us the teaching of Holy Quran. Bring back those who turned away from your religion. Meaning, if we want to help those brothers and sisters who are taken away from this religion, it is the knowledge of Quran which will bring them back, which will keep them in the religion. And I would say this is such a wise teaching of our peer because today we are seeing this. Jamaati members who are leaving our tariqa, it's only due to one reason. Those who misguide them, they misguide them from Quran. So peer at that time, how many years ago? 500, 600 years ago. He had taught us. Our my bab, our mother had taught us, bring back those who have turned away from your religion. How? Through the teachings of Holy Quran. Recognize the Imam and know the peer. Now, knowing the peer here, I would relate it to our first peer. Our first peer being Prophet Muhammad who brought for us Quran. And P. Sadardin, who is coming in the lines of peers, is actually taking the knowledge of first peer and teaching us. And we are saying we will learn your knowledge, but we will not learn the knowledge through which you are teaching us. Does it sound logical? 